and we're going to wire up our L298 motor controller. We're going to position it right on top of the camera where the batteries would normally go. So in order to get started, we've begun taping the area that we're going to attach the L298 motor controller to. And the tape serves a couple purposes. It protects the board from the, uh, the sharp leads on the bottom of our L298. And it also allows us to remove the L298 should we need to later because we're going to hot glue it down. So the uh, Arduino, uh, we're going to remove the Arduino because it is kind of in the way we need to route wires and it's a lot easier to route those wires when it's not there. So we're taping down the control wires for our camera. Those are the shutter and uh, power wires. And now we're routing the wires from our switch, that is the uh, on-off switch, up to where they'll connect with the motor controller. So we're going to go underneath the camera to do that and we're just using our needle nose pliers and then this is the switch from the the battery or the wire from the battery I should say and we're gonna pull that through uh, as well and you kinda just wanna make sure that you are careful in that you don't knock any of the components on the bottom of the camera loose when you when you route those wires up like that but if you go underneath uh, the camera it makes it makes it look tidier and it's a little little more straightforward um, so now we're going to uh, tape over the leads on our capacitor that's on our camera there. We realized that the L298 has some, some leads underneath that could potentially touch it and cause a short. So we want to make sure that doesn't happen. We're just covering it over with electrical tape and uh, double checking the position of the L298. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our hot glue and squirt out about three quarters of an inch in diameter blob of hot glue and we'll let it sit there for just a few seconds uh, about 10 or 15 seconds and that'll allow it to cool just a little bit and when it cools it gets a little stiffer so it uh, provides a little more of a cushion between the uh, camera and the bottom of the L298 once we install the L298 so we'll position the L298 where it needs to go and the motor controller there and we'll let it sit there for just a second and we'll come back to it before we wire. It'll take uh, about two minutes for that hot glue to fully cure and, and harden. So now it's, it's definitely uh, hardened and in, and in place. And so the L298 is secure. So now what we're going to do is we're stripping the wires that are going to go to our motors. Uh, those are the wires that have come up from our motors, I should say. And uh, once we've got those stripped, we're just going to connect them to the motor block terminals. So you can see we're just pushing the wire in there and then we'll tighten the uh, the screw and the motor block terminal down and that's how we uh, we wire our our motors so the uh, each motor has two wires and both of those wires uh, go to each one of those blocks so each block uh, is for one motor the so now we're connecting the uh, the last wire for the motor on the other side and we just tighten that down so now we're going to connect the wires that are going to come from our Arduino and tell our motor controller which speed and direction each motor should go. So there are different markings on each of the, the input pinouts. And you can see that the, the, the first one there says L1, and then there's an L2 right next to it. L1 and 2 are going to be individual wires that run back to the Arduino. L3 and 4 are also going to be individual wires that run back to the Arduino. Now there's another pinout right next to the terminal block, that's E1 and 2, and we're going to connect E1 and 2 to E3 and 4. So the way we'll do that is we have a short wire, we stripped extra uh, of the short wire off, and we're just wrapping that around another wire that we've stripped so that we can connect the two. So we're going to create what's called a jumper, and it's going to connect E1, 2 with E3, 4. So now what we're doing is we're just soldering the, uh, the jumper together, and in order to do this, we're heating the, uh, the part that's wound around, the, the one wire that's wound around the other. And as those wires get hot enough, they'll melt the solder, and the solder will actually wick in and around the joints. You can see it go there. And that, uh, that'll make a nice, strong connection that we don't have to worry about coming apart. Now we're just taking some heat shrink tubing that we've cut and using our heat gun to uh, melt that or to soften that tubing and shrink it around our connection and that'll prevent any shorts in the future so if a stray wire touches that it won't won't short out uh, and we're just waiting for the heat shrink cooling to dry and then we're trimming off just a little of the excess and we'll 
take our jumper and connect it to E1, E2, E3, E4, which are the, the two remaining pinouts. And we discovered that it's just a little long, so we're going to trim off the excess. And then we're going to try and strip the, uh, the wire and take just a little bit of the, the insulation off so that we can uh, put it in the, uh, the pinout. And it's tough to get the wire insulation off when it's that, that short, so we, we used our nipper pliers to finish that off. So we're going to make our connections there between E1, E2, and E3, E4. Again, taking just a little bit of extra wire off. It's, it's not always easy to know exactly how much you need, but we don't want a whole lot of excess wire sticking up um, because it may not may be able to get knocked out that way. So, so we're going to route our, our wires down. You should have a total of five wires coming out of the motor controller. And we're going to route those down and they're, try and put them together in a really neat fashion. Before we do that, we'll uh, trim off the excess from this wire. We're going to put them together, just lining them up so they're parallel to one another and uh, so none of the wires are sitting on top of each other so they're all just sort of lined up in a nice neat row like uh, lanes in a highway and then we're going to tape them down with our electrical tape and that'll help to keep them in place and keep them ordered and uh, again we want about the wires to stick up past the side of the plastic housing about an inch and that'll give us some excess if we need it for uh, connecting to the Arduino